There are about half a million reptile and amphibian specimens in this collection alone, but I wanted to show you one really special species. Hi, I'm Stevie Kennedy Gold, the Curatola Associate of Herpetology at Harvard University's Museum of Comparative Zoology. This is an example of a female and a male golden toad. Now, this species is unique and well, extinct to be honest. Back in 1966, a population was discovered in the Monte Verde Cloud Forest in Costa Rica. It was abundant and super, super populous with tons of toads hopping around. They went back a few years later in 1989 and only one specimen, one individual was found of the species. In the early 2000s, unfortunately, they listed this species officially as extinct. Now, museum collections like these are extremely important because scientists can come into the collections and test hypotheses, asking how did these specimens die? How did this species go extinct? One working hypothesis is the introduction of chytrid fungus to this otherwise very abundant and very healthy population. Researchers can come into the collection, swab these toads to see if there's a historic presence of chytrid, and they can ask loads of other questions such as is it similar or different to other populations and other species still native to the area? Or what actually happened to these toads?